welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I have um, some nail art for you. Um, I am going to be doing a mani. I'm actually doing a collab uh, with my friend Nails of Interest. So I will make sure I leave all her info down below. Uh, we were chatting with a one of our subscribers and she mentioned to us that uh, March is MS month. So uh, Nails of Interest and I decided we were going to do a mani for her. So um, I decided that I'm going to use, oh I guess I should have told you what polish I was using before I started. Uh, this one is TC17 and as you can tell it is this gorgeous um, color changing polish. So um, cold is orange and warm is yellow. So obviously I'm kind of warm right now. <laughs> so um, yeah, so we we are doing we're each doing a mani. Um, I'm not sure what she is doing, like what color she's using, but this is a color I chose. Hopefully, I didn't choose the same colors. So, but, um, yeah, if we did, that would be a super bonus. Actually, I know she has this particular color because um, I remember when we first started chatting, she saw this color and fell in love with it. So I think this was her first I'm a Lee gel polish she bought. So, anyway. Okay, so I'm going to cure this and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I must tell you that in the lamp, this is the coolest polish. It goes like a neon yellow, like, like highlighter yellow is what it reminds me of. And then it's pretty cool when it goes with the orange. Figured, you know, butterflies are pretty. Um, they a lot of them come in the yellows and the orange. So I figured this would be a perfect color to use. And plus, it's been phenomenally warm here where I live. So we've been breaking some record temperature considering last week we had snow. <laughs> so yeah, this is pretty cool. I don't do my thumbs, but I forgot and I started doing it, so we're doing it today. Doesn't it look cool going on? Like the polish, I try not to put too much on there. Got it on there way too thick. But look at the brush. I don't know if you can see that. That's kind of cool. <laughs> the heat for me. Okay, so let me uh, cure this. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my, so I'll show you my no wipe top coat. And this top coat. Please. Normally I wouldn't top coat them I would probably use the tacky layer, but I want to use, I have some glue gel from She Modern. I want to try it out. And besides, I need to cut, I forgot to cut out my little butterflies, so I don't want to get my gel all yucky while I cut everything up. So I'm just going to top coat it, and then that way everything's protected. Okay, 
so let me cure this and be right back okay so here is the yellow and I'm like extremely warm right now so um, yeah I'll do some pictures afterwards so you can see that uh, what they look like in different modes okay so this one is what I'm going to use. These are the new She Modern, and this one is Butterfly Dash 4. Now they started, oh, look, you can tell. Um, they've got two toned uh, foils now, and uh, this one is purple and black. So, yeah. So I really, I just got these a little while ago, so I was like dying to use them. So, um, perfect opportunity. Okay, so with any water deco, you take off the foil covering. I'm just going to take a bit off and then I'm going to take my scissors. Sorry, it sticks to my silicone mat, so it's hard for me to get them up. So with any of the water decals, um, you basically, you cut them as close to them as you can. That way you don't have any of the outline. And I try and go really close. sticks to my mat sorry <laughs> okay so basically what I've got is I've got a little um, plastic canvas thingy and I this is how I do my water decals I just put them on there and then I take a little water bottle doesn't take too long for them 10 seconds or whatever so I'm gonna put them on these two fingers so what I'm gonna do I probably should put this by the way a little bit so I'm taking my gel glue which is for dry color dry coloring glitter and pigments so this is basically foil glue but in gel version so when you're using regular polish, if you use a foil glue, this is basically the same idea, but just for gels. So I don't know exactly where on my nail I'm going to put it, So because I might try to place it around. I don't know what, yet what I want to do. So I'm just going to do them both. Okay, so let me cure this. I'll be right back. Okay, so while off camera, I realized I wanted the butterflies to be opposite from each other. And if you can see, Silly Me did them together. Like I did both the same way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take this guy and I'm gonna put him aside and dry him off and then once he's fully dry, I can put him back in the pack and I can reuse them. <laughs> so if you make a mistake like that, just don't take it off the paper. Or if you have taken off, off the paper, just put it back on the paper, dry it, and then you can reuse it. So nice thing about that. Okay, so let's go ahead with this guy. And what I could do is I'm just gonna get one of my stampers. Oh, I don't want that one. Let's try this. Oh. Okay, this 
this one. Sorry, I had stuff on the other one. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is put it on the stamper. Get this guy out of the way. And then I'm taking a lint-free wipe and then just drying it off. And see now, you can I can see it. I can figure out where I want it on my nail. So I don't know if you guys can see this. Hopefully you can. But there we go. Isn't that pretty? Um, oh. It's so pretty. Okay. So now do the same for this guy. So I just kind of get the one end and then lint free wipe or Kleenex. Kleenex will work too. Or a little piece of paper towel. So I just have happen to have the little lint, lint free wipes in my desk. So okay so now just kind of centering it where I want it on my nail and then put it on and then roll it. And there we go. That's super pretty. Okay, so let's get this guy right out of the way. So now I'm just gonna take my lint free wipe, put it on my paper, my little plastic thing. one that I messed up on once he's dry I'll put him in back in the pack so I don't waste them so next thing I think I want to do is I want to put some bling on this I want to make it look pretty so let's see so I'm going to put some bling on this one and this one. So I might use some of the smaller ones. So we'll use a bit of those. Okay, uh, hang on one sec. Let me just get ready. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm going to take some of my grip gel and I'm just going to put bit of it on the base of my nail where I want to put the blanks. Oops. And I got too much kind of flooded in my cuticle. So as with any you want to get that off your skin before you cure it. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Now I've poured some gems into my container. Now I'm just taking Probably three will be good. Maybe. I'm sure that's going to nice. Okay, 
so let me top coat this and um, be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I top coated everything. And um, actually, I think it turned out really cute. I really like it. And the the butterfly that I was that I kind of cut out in error, I decided to put it on my thumb, but I kind of put it upside down. I don't know. He's upside right. Anyway. He's upside down for me, so I can see him. <laughs> anyway, I think it's really cute. So, um, in closing, um, I don't really know a whole lot about MS. I just thought it was a lovely cause to do for um, a dear lady. So, um, you know, I thought it would cheer her up. So I will see if I can find some information and I can leave it on the end of the video for you and you can read up on it. And um, yeah, and I just want to thank Nails of Interest for doing this little collab with me. Um, it was kind of short notice. So, but anyway, and I just want to remind everybody um, about um, my uh, 1K giveaway that is going on right now so uh, please like subscribe tell all your friends because um, the sooner I get to 1k the sooner I can do the draw and um, yeah I actually intent I might be adding some prizes so we'll have more than one winner so but as um, soon as I have everything come in I will let you know and, but um, yeah Anyway, I hope you are having a great day, and um, yeah, bye for now.